हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज थियोरीज ऑफ एग्रेशन इन दिस वीडियो वील डिस्कस द थ्री टॉप और मेन थियोरीज ऑफ एग्रेशन नाउ लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट थियोरी ऑफ एग्रेशन इज इंस्टिंग थियोरी द सेकेंड इज फ्रस्ट्रेशन एग्रेशन हाइपोथिस एंड द थर्ड इज सोशल लर्निंग थियोरी सो वील डिस्कस दिस थियोरीज वन बाय वन in short to avoid and to save time we'll use it instead of instinct theory so instinct theory was propounded by sigmund freud in 1927 freud suggested that every human being has two instincts that is eros and thentos eros is a life instinct whereas thentos is a destructive or death instinct he said that human behavior including aggression is the result of interaction of these two instincts or forces take an example of tug of war when two teams pull the rope towards each other there gets a tension created in the rope similarly when there is an interaction between eros and thentos there a behavior manifest and that behavior is named by the aggression or aggressive behavior by the sigmund freud according to this theory aggression originates primarily from the redirection of self destructive death instincts away from the self while directed towards the other it means when the thentos is unrestrained and destructive force what it does is it has a tendency to destruct the self the individual so individual to avoid the destruction of the self directs this energy towards the other and that direction of that energy and the manifestation of that energy towards the other people is in the form of aggression and this way aggression originates already i told you that thentos is understand and indulges in self destruction through displacement of the energy of thentos is directed towards others in the form of aggression what the here displacement means for example if an a boss hit an employee or give a his give piece of his, his mind to the employee in turn employee when return to his home that uh, pass on that displacement uh, displace that energy received from the boss negative energy to his wife the wife cannot say anything that di- and directs that energy towards the child and child may break a toy or hit a dog or anything else at this way and there is a small story in that uh, the child goes out and hit a dog with a stone dog gets angry and finally bites the boss that this is the channel of displacement of your thentos negative energy this is known as a displacement of energy from one individual to another it was just a small uh, anecdote now let us discuss aggression is also expressed in the form of criticism or taunts suppose if we criticize someone or pass on our taunts or use unparliamentary words that is also is a kind of aggression it is a global instinct and necessary for preservation and reproduction of species yes dear friends aggression has all negative connotations yet it has one important positive aspect is that for the preservation of species on the earth and to improve the, the progeny and for the reproduction of species aggression is a very very important aspect it says that aggression is inherited yes ye hame virasat mein milta hai this means aggression is inherited and biological in nature that cannot be completely eliminated from human behavior but it can be reduced by indulging in adventure sports just like boxing some karate some you call it the rugby game or sports hockey and all the other types of sports where it individual need to perform and utilize more and more energy this way that negative energy which is produced by the thentos in the form of aggression can be very well channelized into positive energy and there are positive outcome of this so dear friends very important aspect of the aggression is that it cannot be completely eliminated from the human behavior now this way this this was our first theory of aggression the next is frustration aggression hypothesis 
also known as frustration aggression theory and proposed by Dollard, Doob, Miller, Moore and Sears in 1939. These psychologists and sociologists propounded a concept known as frustration, frustration aggression hypothesis. This theory or hypothesis has two components that is frustration and aggression. What is the frustration is? Frustration is an emotional state associated with negative behavioral connotation. Means if someone is frustrated, there are chances that the behavioral aspects will be negative and outcome of that behavior will be negative. It results from the, yes, I want to add here that there may be positive that in, in one aspect where there is a reproduction or preservation of energies of the species they required. Otherwise, the most of the outcome of the frustration are in the negative form. What, how does, where is the frustration? NCRT defines that it results from the blocking of needs and motives by something or someone that hinders someone from achieving a desired goal. To make it very very clear that suppose you are going for a walk or you are going jogging or you are running, if someone comes and put a leg in front of you or in interfere with your jogging or running and th in that case and that individual fly away from you, that case you get frustrated. If you catch a hold him and give a piece of your mind, then where you can release your stress, uh, that frustration. Whereas if you cannot, then that frustration throughout the day keep on generating or developing in you. And this way, that means that frustration has indulged or made home inside you. This way, frustration has resulted from your behavior where your goal you have been hindered from achieving your desired goal. Now why it occurs? There are two major concepts. Frustration occurs either the individual is blocked from doing an act she or he loves or likes to do or asked to do an act which she or she does not like to do. Take an example of similar example which is recent news. In Guru Gram Haryana, one a guard of a judge alleged to show dead his wife and his the guard, judge's son. When while interrogating, police asked him why you take this extreme step. He told that these people are devils. That the interrogating official were very shocked to hear that how can a judge and their family can be devils? And they asked, dear, how? In which sense you want to say that they are devils? He said that I was forced to do their personal course, such as the even their dogs' fecuses or used to be get cleared by me. I have to go for their small errands. And this was this way you see that a VIP culture in India is accumulating and creating frustration in the individuals, those in, in those individuals who are supposed to protect them. This incident is not an exclusive incident and this has to not be to be investigated in the light of legalities, social or legal problems. It has to be investigated from this psychological angle also. Why that that individual has taken that extreme step. The question here is why that individual has come up to that level that he has was forced to take that extreme step. So it is not an issue of sociology or a legal aspect. It has the psychological aspect needs to be studied and the basic the reasons behind has to be found out so that such incident do not occur in our society. Now let us say this theory says that Frustration induces an aroused state in an individual that results in aggressive behavior that can be injurious and that injury can be psychological or physical and very important is that can be to the self otherwise to the others or the target. This means injury can be psychological or sociological and the expression of aggression is a type of catharsis that is it tends to reduce the frustration. If someone is frustrated due to some act or some incident or some event or some behavior of other individual and that individual who has been frustrated thrown out his frustration in the form of aggression you will find that after a few time after some time that due to that expression of the aggression the frustration level has gone down and that is the catharsis. Dollard and Miller defines it as a, that that aggression is that condition which exists when a goal response suffers interference, that is very simple. Aggression is a learned behavior 
and consequent of frustration it is a very simple will how it is learned behavior in the next theory we will discuss this according to newcomb frustration always induces motivation of some kind of aggression and if no aggression occurs it has been inhibited very very clear i want to make it uh, explain here is it that if someone is get frustrated due to some others behavior if that individual get a chance to manifest that frustration into aggression that is okay otherwise if that didn't get a chance to express that frustration into a aggression that newcomb says this means that frustration has been inhibited or repressed within individual and that has negative meaning after some period of time now aggressive behavior is the fundamental reaction to frustration yes it is a clear the first and the maximum time usually that aggression is preceded by the frustration it is a fundamental response now let us see but there are other responses also just like regression withdrawal reaction formation and displacement etc which results from the frustration regression means going back to the same position withdrawal away from the society or the family reaction formation you there is some creation of reaction some response and displacement means that aggression or aggressive behavior you, someone is received from someone and it has been transferred to someone through other means and that is called as a displacement now the next and the last theory of social learning is that you call it a social learning theory that is the theory last theory of aggression albert bandura 1965 demonstrated with bobodol experiment that aggression can be learned by observation and reinforcement here i want to make it clear is that in social learning theory there are three basic concept or the aspect and student need to learn and to understand that is these are the observation then the reinforcement and the third is role modeling these through these three experiment are the core themes concepts of the social learning theory the concept of role modeling is a central theme of this theory where an individual learns by imitating another individual whom she or he likes and considers a role model it is very clear by the bobodol experiment also in our daily life also we keep observing that when a to individual to whom we make or we consider as a role model sometime it may be parents sometime it may be teacher sometime it is film star sometime it is sports person we try to imitate the behavior through observation and try to behave in the similar fashion this happens because the individual likes that individual by because that is a role model take the your best example of that is fashion total fashion originates from the role model this is role model this theory suggests that imitated behavior is the result of interaction of cognitive and one factors yes there are two factor major factors cognitive factors which are thought process and other activities going in the mind and the environment factors environment factors here is was social environment and was natural environment when these two factors interfere interact they come out with a behavior and that is known as imitated behavior so the potential for aggression is biological but the expression of aggression is learnt yes where aggression develops is due to biological reasons but expression is that is learned from someone it has been inherited Julian Rotter who discussed uh, discussed the locus of control also contributed in SLT or social learning theory by stating that people's behavior result of interaction of their unique personality and their environment here again what rotter want to describe is that in every individual has got to show unique personality and here again environment means social as well as natural environment in other words behavior is affected by social and environmental factors along with psychological factors yes learning is a cognitive process that occurs in social context now the key concept of social learning theory are grusak 1998 defines that there are five key concept of social learning theory the first one is learning is a behavioral as well as cognitive process that take place in a social context yes the learning cannot take in place in vacuum it has to take place in social context in relation to social learning theory the second aspect is learning occurs by imitating a behavior yes imitating means you have to by seeing by observing a behavior and that behaving in a similar fashion by observing the consequences of the behavior this we call it as a vicarious reinforcement 
and the third is reinforcement is one of the important contributory component in learning yes learning occurs by virtue of reinforcement and the fourth is learning is an active process where cognition involvement and behavior or influences that we call it as a reciprocal determinism and the last is by way of imitating behavior the children develop self efficacy that add to their confidence in their ability to engage in aggressive behavior here self efficacy means children learns that if an individual my role model is behaving this way i took on behavior it acts as a motivation in individual and fail to achieve the goal through aggressive act tends to lower the self efficacy level consequently discontinuing the aggressive behavior dear friends this was our best three top learning theories or major theories of aggression these are the references from where i have taken these theories you can just cross check it and friends thank you we'll meet you next time any suggestion critical comments are heartily welcome on this email varmasujit@yahoo.com once again thank you